Ningagwa's Mutapa Fund plots Perestatal shake-up. The Mutapa Investment Fund MIF, previously criticized as a conduit for elite enrichment, has declared its commitment to establishing robust governance frameworks aimed at reigning in reluctant state-owned enterprises SOEs. Originally named the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Zimbabwe, MIF operates under the Sovereign Wealth Fund Act Chapter 2220, overseeing approximately 20 parastatals. Its renaming occurred following the re-election of President Emerson Umingagwa. Effected through Statutory Instrument 156 of 2023. In a recent update, outgoing Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe RBZ Governor and MIF CEO, John Mangudia, outlined plans for a significant overhaul of parastatals. Emphasizing the importance of commercial viability and wealth generation for present and future generations. Mangudia highlighted the imperative for SOEs like the National Oil Company NOIC to compete vigorously and increase profitability. He underscored the implementation of governance systems and checks to ensure timely compliance with recommended practices across parastatals. We have established committees such as the investment, governance, and HR committees within the holding company to ensure uniformity and adherence to policies emanating from MIF, he explained. Additionally, strategies are being devised to revitalize struggling parastatals and leverage opportunities within their balance sheets. Alongside exploring new avenues for growth to restore these entities to their former prominence. During their prime in the first two decades after independence in 1980, Zimbabwean parastatals contributed significantly to the GDP, reaching about 40%. However, mismanagement of funds and weak corporate governance led to their decline over the years, with many operating at a loss and burdening the national treasury. Please like, comment, share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.